My niece is celebrating her 23rd birthday on July 4th and asked me to do her hair. Now, this is one client slash family (laughs) that I enjoy doing her hair because she never really cares what I do. So typically the style is up to me and I get to kind of spread my wings and do what I want. Sometimes I'll pick pick a harder style or sometimes I might pick something easy. To me, this style is kind of in between. It's going to be another sleek ponytail with some braids. If you guys uh, saw my last video I did on her, it was a sleek ponytail with some braids. You guys really, really love that one. Like it showed <laughs> in the views that you guys really love that one. So I decided to do another one. So this one i'm just kind of freestyling how i want it to look and let me know what you guys think so of course i went ahead and did the middle part first and then i went ahead and part from side to side because we're gonna put the braids in the front and then bring the end of the braids into the sleek ponytail at the back so i'm just kind of getting those out the way then i'm going ahead and straighten the back of her head or her hair because you know that's where the sleekness is going to be is in the back so it has to be straight so i'm pressing out and my flat iron is just acting up y'all it's had its ride as you can see it looks beaten up so i'm gonna go ahead and purchase a new one very very soon you guys know i ride for that flat iron so i'm gonna be getting the same exact one I might bring you guys along in like a short or something like that with me for it so now I'm just pressing the hair out it the temperature is on either 390 or 410 I'm not sure but um yeah I'm gonna press it out I've already put some heat protectant on it I'm gonna get it as straight as I can with one pass you know I don't like to do more than one pass then I'm going to put some got to be glued spray on it and then i'm going to put it in a ponytail now as you can see there is a slight part in her head that just won't go away and i'm having the hardest time trying to like cover that part right there like i don't know it's like a permanent part or something but um, i'm trying my best to like cover it up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this in a ponytail first and then i'm gonna before it dries i'm going to cover that part right there as much as i can and so that it doesn't dry like that all right so i'm using rubber bands to do that i'm going to put some more got to be glue sprayed on it and this is me just kind of combing it in and it might miss you guys like how i was able to cover it but what all i did was kind of combed it over and then i started blow drying it so that it dries like that and doesn't change so now i'm going to take the rubber band out because i don't feel like it's sleek enough like it's not nicely going into the ponytail and we want it to really look like really nice and sleek going into the ponytail so i'm gonna get a nice grip and uh put it back into a ponytail so now that i have that done i've already braided the other side but i really didn't want y'all to see what i did so i'm kind of trying to hide it so i'm gonna go ahead and make a straight part in two i'm gonna um you know it's a half of her head so i'm gonna uh, split that in half and i'm gonna clean that part up i'm gonna get in close so y'all can see this part getting cleaned up y'all know y'all love seeing me part <laughs> very precise about my parting sometimes i get it you know most times i get it right sometimes i might be off a little bit but in this time i just got it straight and i'm going back and forth because i'm comparing it to the other side we want to make sure the other side matches up so now I'm putting some lock in on it. Um, normally I either use the Shine and Jam, but I kind of switch over to lock in, even though they're super expensive. But because I find that my fingers don't slip as much and, you know, it's a little bit more sticky. And then on the edge control, of course, I use my own edge control on her hair. Um, so now I'm just kind of making um, molding the, into the braids so that I'm going to be braided up into that corner right there. It's almost like a triangle. I'm going to be braiding up into that corner. So it's not going to be a straight back braid. It's kind of going to go at a slant. And you guys are going to see why in just a minute.
All right, as I'm going, I'm stitch braiding. And, you know, I'm just putting in a little bit of hair. I really don't need much hair. I don't want this braid to be super big. Only because I'm going to be bringing the braid into the back of the ponytail. So I don't want it to be too big. But I am kind of like trying to make sure that my stitches show. I really want my stitches to like come through in this style. And I'm braiding it up right into that corner. And then um, once I braid it out a little bit, then I'm going to clip it off and then start on the other braid. So now this braid I'm going to do also at a diagonal to meet into the other braid. Then I'm gonna join them together. You guys, if you have been following me for a while, then you already know like, you know, I've already showed you guys how to join the two braids together. If not, we have plenty of videos on those. You guys can go watch it. So I'm basically just, you know, sneaking in and making sure there's jam all over because I really want the uh, stitch to show in this video. I'm pulling out some really long adulty hair because it's not baby hair anymore. Once it's past like a couple inches, it's no longer baby hair. <laughs> so I'm just pulling those out because I really want this style to kind of be like fairy tale y, like really, really pretty. It's her birthday, so I want it to be really, really pretty. So I'm, uh, you know, just pulling the hair out. Uh, then I'm going to stitch braid it again into um, into the other braid. So now, if you guys want lessons on stitch braids, I think I have a tutorial on my YouTube. If not, then of course, you guys know I have a course, an online course that teaches you from the basics up to like master stitching. So, you know, the code for that is ongoing. The code is half off, capital, all capital, half off into my uh, online stitch braiding course. So anyways, uh, I will link that. If not, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on all my platforms on how to get to that. So I'm going to go ahead and braid it now and join into the other braid. So the way I join them, of course, is I overlap. So I'm going to untangle that down and I'm going to overlap the three legs of the braid and then just kind of start joining them together and braiding them out. And I'm going to braid this all the way to the end. I'm adding a little bit more hair at the end because I want it to be able to go into that ponytail nicely it's going to wrap around the ponytail so here i am now putting the braiding hair on top and what you do is kind of lay the braid braid in here like that i have two bundles of braiding hair it's the rua that i'm using and i'm using the rubber bands and just kind of you know uh attaching it like that with the rubber bands and that little piece i'm pulling out is just the piece that's going to wrap around the ponytail and then I'm breaking off three legs for braiding. And as I'm braiding, I'm making sure that I cover her natural hair with the braiding hair. So you don't want her natural hair to be popping through at all. I see a little piece right there, but we're going to cover that or fix that. Um, so I'm doing two different types of braiding in this um, braid. So what I'm going to do is braid out a little bit and I'm going to tie it off with a rubber band and I'm going to fluff it out. You guys know I love to fluff out my braids. I'm going to wrap a little piece of hair around the rubber band and pull it through with a crochet needle. So now that is going to hide the rubber band. Now I'm going to do like a French braid going down so i'm just taking piece by piece from each side and wrapping it over i'm not like the french braid connoisseur or anything but i do know a little bit of something <laughs> when it comes to french braiding but i definitely need more practice on this because i don't do styles like this often so once i'm done with that i'm just gonna tie it off and i really wanted to curl the ends but we were kind of pressed for time and i didn't get uh, a chance to curl the end so i kind of just uh, left it straight then I went ahead and grabbed that piece and wrapped it around the bun I'm going to use my crochet needle again and pull it through be careful if you're doing this because it can mess up the entire style and that little piece hanging out I'm just gonna kind of crochet into the braid um, then I'm gonna use the two braids left out and use it to wrap around kind of making some type of design so I'm just wrapping it around. I'm going under, if you guys can see, like, 
you know, just going under it and just making sure that it stays in place. Then I'm going to fix those little pieces sticking out. I'm either like going to spray them with some spray or, you know, jam them down or whatever I need to do to hide them. And this is the final look, you guys. How beautiful is this? This is just, you know, something lightweight for her birthday. The hair color is a little bit off because I really just did not have a number two. I had a number four. Normally that works for her hair, but because I sprayed all that stuff on it, it darkened her hair up some. But in a natural state, her hair is like a four, but right now it's not looking like a four. But this is the final style. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments um let me know if you want to try something like this it's different it's unique and i'm gonna keep these type of styles coming just to give y'all something different to look forward to thank you for watching see you next time